In every business, there are six stages that every owner and founder moves through as she grows her company. These stages are presented as a pyramid, which I've got on this whiteboard here. Now I'm gonna assume that you already play the role of the CEO, but you share one or perhaps all of these jobs within the business owner pyramid. Now while it's likely you wear multiple hats every day, the point here is knowing where you should spend the majority of your time in order to leverage your impact across the entire organization. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Stage one is the technician. The technician does the work being sold to customers. These are the folks who make the product, fulfill the service, and support your customers. They are responsible for delivering whatever it is people buy from you. Now, in the early days of Apple Computer, Steve Wozniak was the technician. The lawyer in her upstart law firm is a technician. In fact, the majority of independent business owners are technicians. If the work stops, the money stops. End of story. Stage two is the manager. The manager is responsible for supervising the technicians. She's in charge of ensuring the work gets done on spec and on budget. Managers spend the majority of their time on operations, quality assurance, coaching, and leading a team of technicians. Stage three of the pyramid is the salesperson. This person identifies business opportunities, generates leads, develops relationships, and closing deals. Stage four of the pyramid is the marketer. The marketer is responsible for spreading the vision of the organization. They tell the story of the business to the right people in the right way. And stage five is the CEO. The CEO is responsible for everything in the company. Whether you're a one person business or have 100 employees, this is you, you're in charge. But if you're still stuck spending too much time, well, really any time in the prior four roles, you haven't really graduated yourself all the way through to the C-suite. Stage six is the owner. The peak of the pyramid is Nirvana for every person who starts a business. The owner acts like an investor. She receives financial returns from the performance of the business without direct involvement in the day-to-day -day management and operations of the company. Now, importantly, the CEO will actually report to the owner on the overall financial performance of the business. And as an owner, that's where real wealth is generated via payments of dividends and value creation of the business. Now, this is where you want to be. I see a lot of first-time founders stuck in the technician and manager phases of their business model. They don't have enough hours in the day to do the higher leverage activities because they're too busy trying to do paid work. Now, in order to scale yourself up from the technician up to owner, you need an intimate understanding of your business model and its financial drivers. The numbers leave clues on how to best spend your limited resources in order to level yourself up the business owner pyramid. Now, over the next few weeks, we'll be deep diving into these numbers. Be sure to follow me so you don't miss out.